What is the strangest habit you have? Everyone has some quirky things they do regularly. And while it's not exactly a deep, dark secret, it's probably something that they haven't admitted to a lot of people. Sharing small, slightly embarrassing things is a great way to build trust. 2. What movie made you cry the most? With this question, you can see what types of things tug at her heartstrings and possibly how often she cries at movies. And if you've seen the same movie, you can talk about it. Or if you haven't, you can ask what she found so touching about it. 3. What is the most embarrassing thing you own? Definitely a very personal question. But hey, you are on a page titled, Personal Questions to Ask a Girl. I like this one because sharing embarrassing things we own or have done brings people closer together. 4. What do you hope you grow out of? We all change as we get older. And we all have habits or quirks in our personality that we wish we could get rid of. With this question, you can find out what things she hopes to shed as she gets older. 5. What is the healthiest and unhealthiest thing you do regularly? Health is a broad and subjective thing. She might focus on mental health, physical health, or even spiritual health. Perhaps a mix of all three. Whatever direction she chooses, it will tell you a lot about what she considers to be important to her overall health. 6. How much do you judge a person by their appearance? There is a good chance you won't get a totally honest answer to this question. No one likes to admit to being shallow, even though before talking to someone, looks are the only thing we have to make judgments about a person. But you never know, she might surprise you with a completely honest answer. 7. What was one of the happiest moments of your childhood? Reminiscing about earlier days seems to be a popular pastime for most people, especially as you get older. But even if she is young, who doesn't love reliving a beloved childhood memory? 8. What was the worst date that you've been on? While everyone enjoys remembering the good old days, it can also be fun telling stories about dating disasters. Chances are that she has some good stories to share about dates that turned into train wrecks. You've probably got a few stories as well. It's all part of the bittersweet process of dating. 9. What's your favorite vacation memory from when you were a child? Or childhood memory? Sure, why not? Talking about fond memories is a great way to foster a positive atmosphere. And what is more fun when you are a kid than vacation? Of course, if she talked about a vacation for the earlier childhood memory question, you might want to give this one a pass.